Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rod. I'm a tattoo artist. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I do my design using 3D model on Procreate. This is a complete full step project that I'm working on. And as you can see, all of the images that I use are perfectly wrapped around the arm without any warping and distortion. So my client wanted a Greek demigod statue style tattoo and I chose the three main demigods, Hercules, Perseus, and Aris. I also added Athena to complete his full sleep. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it step by step, so let's get straight to it. Let's go to my gallery. So I already did the four design on a separate canvas and I stuck them together and let's open it. These are the main design we're gonna use and we're gonna start with Hercules here and it goes into the upper arm. Before we start working on the 3D model, I would like to show you where we're inserting the design because it has two sections, the 2D and the 3D section. So let's go to 3D canvas. This is our 3D arm and when you download the model, they all comes in white and you can change them by going to your color wheel and select a color closest to skin. So let's use this color. Go to layer, click onto this icon, click on color, right click and fill layer. You can also change your lighting by going to your tools, click edit lighting and environment and here you can adjust where you want your light. Let's put it equal. So there are two ways on which you can insert your design on your 3D arm. You can put it here directly and you can also put it on 2D which we're gonna use most of the time. Let me show you the 2D section. Go to tools and click on show 2D texture. The 3D arm is spread out like a sheet of paper. This is the upper arm, the elbow part, and the forearm. This is the part where the 3D is cut and this is the hand and the fingers. We don't touch these images unless you're working on a knuckle or palm, so we focus on this area. Let's go back to 3D. So let's try insert an image on here. Let's go to gallery, open canvas and copy the image you want to use. Go back to your 3D arm and paste it on. First you need to create another layer for the image so we don't touch the arm. Now we can paste the image we copied, we drag it all the way into the upper arm, let's make it bigger so it fits on the arm. The only problem when you're inserting your image onto the 3D arm is that the edges are warping and some of it disappears. To correct this, you need to paste your image onto 2D. Let's go to tool, click on 2D and here the edges is still warp and missing so we create new layer and paste another image. Now we decrease the opacity of the new image to 50%. Go to layer and adjust the opacity to 50%. Drag the image onto the arm and adjust it to the size of the first image. Go to layer, delete the first image and increase the opacity of the new image back to 100%. Go back to 3D and now we have a perfectly wrapped image on the arm. Don't move the image while it's on 3D because it's gonna warp again. Now let's do the hard part, the inner arm. This is the part where it gets complicated because when you go to 2D, this is where it opens up and you need to cut the image and drag it on both edge. Let's go to my gallery and grab an image. My client wanted Perseus on the inner arm, so let's grab this image and paste it on 3D. We are pasting it on 3D because we want to know where will the images will go. Because as I mentioned earlier, the image will be cut into two pieces and they go on both edge of the arm. So paste the image, make it the right height and size. The edges are still warped and let's fix this on 2D. Let's go to 2D and 
Now we know that this is where we're gonna place our new image to create the warping. Create new layer and insert new image. Make it the same size. Decrease the opacity to 50% and duplicate it. After that, drag the image onto the other side and adjust the size so it matches onto the other one. And do the same thing on the other side. Once you're done, delete the first image that you put and go back to 3D. Here you can still see that it's not aligned and what I do is manually align it with my fingers. Once you've aligned it, erase the edge of the overlapping image to merge it into the other. Increase the image back to 100% and merge the two images together. And there you go, the image is wrapped onto the arm perfectly. You can do this trick onto the forearm and any part of the body. This is the final design and I added more details and background on it to cover the entire forearm.